Hello and welcome to this video where I'll share with you a strange technical problem which I've experienced. A few days ago I bought this focus motor second hand from a fellow astrophotographer. It's a Sesto Senso 2 from the Italian company Prima Luce Lab, a company whose products I'm already familiar with as I own both an Eagle astronomy computer as well as another focusing motor, a Sesto Senso 2, which is mounted on another of my telescopes. When I received the focus motor and tested it out, instead of humming along nicely as I expected, it sounded like this. I immediately contacted the seller and explained the problem and there was total agreement that if it wasn't easily fixable the deal would have to go back. I also showed the little video to Prima Luce Labs customer service and they agreed that the motor was probably busted and offered to test it out and repair it at a cost naturally as the unit was out of warranty. Now it's always risky to assume things without testing them properly. And as I had tested the faulty unit alongside with my own, just switching the cables from one unit to the other, and as my own unit worked flawlessly, I concluded that the problem could not be outside of the unit itself, such as a power supply problem or a defective cable. Moreover, I had switched the cables back and forth several times, and the problem was persistently only with the second-hand unit. All the same, the next day, at the suggestion of the seller, I tried a different power supply. And lo and behold, the motor now ran perfectly well off of that. I then reconnected it to my Eagle computer, and now it was also running flawlessly from that. What was going on? Well, my interpretation is that there must have been some corrosion or dirt in the power connector of the unit, causing it not to be fed the correct voltage. My frequent disconnecting and reconnecting of the power cable had then rubbed off the corrosion and caused the problem to go away. If any of you are experts on stepper motors or has a different interpretation of events, please let me know in the comments below. I'm always eager to learn more. I guess my takeaway from this experience is that you should never give up on a problem until you've tried to solve it in every way you can possibly think of. Anyway, I'm glad I get to keep this focus motor, which I got at a reasonable price, and I can't wait to take it out under the stars and try it out for real. 